all over social media if you're in comic books. It's one that we had to add. Everyone else has been talking about on YouTube. But bad idea, right? I'm surprised I said that right because all day I've been saying big idea. But <laughs> we got news with the tweet or an Instagram post that we regret to inform you that despite our best efforts and all our wonderful support, bad ideas, we know it must end. Our sincerest thanks for the incredible journey. We will be announcing releasing books to the end of the year. Beyond that, bad idea is over. Now, we covered bad idea from the Genesis on this channel. Andy, you were on that podcast when we talked about this, when they were first getting ready to launch it. It had a little bit of a stall with COVID, but it turned out to be a great program, brick and mortars. You can, you know, you can only sell one copy. A lot of retailers got busted and got kicked out of that program. The, the reception for these books has been really well. I mean, and not to mention they've had some kick-ass creators, right? Hmm. What about you, Dan? Have you been reading Bad Idea? What do you think? Do you have Bad Idea yeah. in your area? Uh, no, not really. Well, there's this one LCS, and um, I don't have a good relationship with that guy. So I just decided I'm not going <laughs> to, even though they got the Bad Idea books, um, but um, I do have them all. I, I did read them all. I do like them a lot. Um, but I do feel like um, they, you know, they, they're playing all these stunts and stuff. And I don't know. And I kick. It's like they made this insane demand for the the retailers. So they put so much social pressure on them to sell more than one copy, and then they punish them for the social pressure they created. Which I felt like I don't know. I don't know if that's. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I get you. I see. I see pros and cons to both sides. Yeah. Andy, what are your thoughts? And I'm mute. <laughs> I did that. Oh, on, I did that on purpose because of the squeaky chair syndrome going on here. Bad idea is not even a blip on my radar, honestly, because when I was really excited about it, I was like, "Yes, these sound like really good stories. I want to read." I went to my LCS and said, "Please, let's talk about pre-ordering these." Bad idea never even bothered to respond to my LCS's inquiries. It mm. never got back to him this entire time. So not only my LCS didn't even get a chance to be selected, they just never got responded to, which I guess is selection in its own. Either way, it got to the point where I'm not even going to fish those things out of the secondary market just because of the pricing and the way things are going. Mm. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm going to be blunt. I think it sucks. I think it's it was a horrible idea. It wasn't just a bad idea. Um and I don't think it's over. I, I think if you read between the lines, the, the wording in there is bad <laughs> idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bad idea as we know it. Okay. So as we know it, what they're going to come back rebranded. I mean, what, what does that say to me? To me, that says all I need to hear right there that this shady company is not done. They're not done with their marketing ploys, whatever you want to call them. Um, good, bad, ugly, whatever they are. Um, I think it's just a joke all the way around and they're, they're playing with the market is the bottom line. So I'll, I'll leave it there. I'm going to, I'm going to play not, I guess not devil's advocate. What angels advocate. <laughs> I, uh, I got to give, I got to give uh, Dinesh a little credit. I mean, he tried to do things differently. He tried to shake things up. He tried some different kind of marketing uh, ideas. Clearly, I like the idea of the super secret drop. You know, having the hero trade just show up in stores, people not even know what it is. I think that was really cool. People who jumped on that early were really excited about it. Um, I'm trying to list the things that I liked. I like the quality of the books. Just, uh, I mean, they spared no expense to to make sure that their books were were as perfect as possible. Um, I like the idea that uh, I like the idea behind the not first prints. Mm -hmm. In that, you know, you're not you're not making seven prints of a book and different covers. And oh, this one mm -hmm. is going to have a one in twenty-five on it. And you have the collectible, and then you have the reader copies. Basically. Right, right. So you there's one to get, which is what images tried to do in a, in some books. You know, Brian K. Vaughn. There's one to get, uh, and if you don't want, if you can't get that one, or don't want that one, or don't want to pay the money for it, pick up this other one, and you can read it. It's 
uh, that was the idea behind it. I know the rollout, the 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 way it was released didn't happen that way. As far as like punishing, I mean, it came across as punishing the uh, the LCS owners. I, I don't think they meant to punish them. I think they meant to more like keep them honest because knowing how how rare some of those first prints were going to be and knowing how some retailers or some LCSs will just put 50 bucks on a book the week it comes out. Um, I think they, they wanted to try to keep, keep them honest, but maybe they didn't do enough to make sure that they were making money or having enough stores in the, you know, in that little club, like Andy was saying, I think it was hard to get in, in the beginning. So I don't know. I, I don't know what to make of this, uh, you know, we're, we're bad idea is over. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. It's probably not over. We're probably looking at the, whatever the, the Phoenix stage where it's going to rise up and, and be something else, but I will, you got to give a lot of credit to the creators. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. lost in all this were, were some people who really appreciated some really cool stories. So there's some things I liked about this. Mm-hmm. And the, some of the things I liked is a lot of stuff that other readers didn't like. I liked, that Dinesh and the people at Bad Idea, they, they play with some marketing, right? A lot of people see it as marketing toys, but I also see this as innovative things that some were successful on that you're going to see other publishers kind of do their own twist on it and do something similar. I think they had an uphill battle because of COVID that hit them when it was supposed to be a brick and mortar thing. That one, from a, from a consumer collector perspective, I can't speak from a retailer side, but I was frustrated at first when I thought, hey, this is going to be kind of cool because it's only going to be available in brick and mortar stores. You know, it's going to drive people to go to brick and mortars. It's almost an exclusive club because, hey, we're going to have 50 programs or however many programs they want. So that's going to make it even more of a valuable commodity. Like, hey, man, my LCS carries bad idea books. That's a good thing. But then you started seeing them sell online as well. I, I get, hey, stay in business some of these things have to be available but like i said i'm being greedy i'm being from the collector and the consumer i love that exclusivity part of it now we we touched on it but we didn't really you know what's glaring us in the face is no one really thinks bad ideas over i mean you could see it you could see people in the chat they're talking it up right now like chubby uh chubby pop chaser you know complete just marketing uh house of l comics is this just a marketing thing everyone i think believes that it's truly a marketing and we we saw it just this week right with back on may 17th there's absolute comics podcast you can find on on spotify they had dinesh on there and thanks to buddy jack DeMeo pointing this out to me at, at about that 29 minute mark they go into it how that idea is ending and a rebranding is going to commence right mm-hmm. yeah well it makes sense yeah i kind of have to i mean they had how many books coming that they have creators working on books because as tony was saying like yeah these creators were working on books they had nothing to do with this uh crazy marketing or the weird rules that were put in place and how lcs's could get these books because i like first andy i couldn't get any copies because none of the shops near me had it nobody carried it and then a buddy of mine who actually bought a shop a few months ago he got on the list that he was eventually going to get them so i don't know how that's all going to play out with the later releases but Availability is one thing you definitely need if you want to be successful in selling comic books. I know everybody loves the aftermarket, but I got to be able to get the book. Like, I got to have a shot to get the book if I'm going to care. Because otherwise, I'm just going to go, all right, you know, fine. I don't see it. You know, I don't I don't see it. I don't miss it. Yeah. That's, that's just me personally. So I'm not settled in on bad idea because I didn't get any of the books because nobody had them near me. And I wasn't going to pay the crazy prices. I think, Even with I think reader copies, I was just like, that hey. idea is going out of publishing. They're going to create comic books as NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not putting that rumor out there.